Recently, we traveled to the Republic of Singapore, a small, culturally diverse, and highly successful city-state. In less than 50 years, Singapore has transformed itself into one of the most dynamic and productive countries in Southeast Asia. With limited resources but an openness to innovation, the government has helped make Singapore an ideal place to live, work, and play. This is America Visits the Republic of Singapore. This is America visited Singapore 11 years ago. While the country was successful back then, it's a world-class city-state on every level today. At Astana, the historic and beautiful government headquarters, I had the opportunity to sit and talk with Singapore's Prime Minister. Tell me three things that Americans should know about Singapore. First, it's a very small city in the middle of a vi very vibrant uh, region in Southeast Asia. Secondly, uh, we are completely connected to the world, China, India, America, the developed countries. Thirdly, we are working hard to stay abreast of the changes around us and to improve the lives of our people. Mm. It's, uh, we were here 11 years ago. It's turned out to be such a dynamic city-state. Well, the whole region has moved and we have tried to keep abreast of the developments around us. The momentum is there because um, um, there's a dynamism from China and India opening up. Uh, Southeast Asia is not doing too badly. And in Singapore, we have tried hard to work together cohesively and to do things which will put us in good stead for the long term. In Singapore, I had the opportunity to visit with U.S. Ambassador David Edelman. How do you account for its success? It is a very, very successful place. Well, undoubtedly. Uh, it stands out uh, in this region, especially, as a place that has created tremendous wealth and a very high standard of living uh, for her people. Uh, the government of Singapore deserves a lot of credit, um, but, but I will say this. Uh, in addition to Singapore's uh, people, uh, Singapore does have um, some things uh, going for it uh, that come naturally. For example, uh, probably the best location on the whole planet. Mm -hmm. uh, about 50% of the goods that are shipped uh, over the seas pass right through here through the Straits of Malacca and the Straits of Singapore, uh, which accounts for what, depending on how you measure it, is either the first or the second busiest container port uh, in the world. So the good location uh, mm -hmm. is, in a sense, a natural resource mm -hmm. uh, enjoyed uh, in connection with a natural deep water uh, harbor. On this program, we'll discover why Singapore is a great place to live. The small city-state has a population of five million people and a diverse ethnic makeup. Amazingly so, everybody seems to get along just fine. Is there a Singaporean culture of today that you can put your finger on? To talk about Singapore culture as a whole, one has to understand where we come from. We, we are a nation of many cultures, of many ethnic groups. Uh, Singapore is itself a young nation. We have a long history, mind you. I think uh, we have a history dating back to British colonial days. But before that, we also have a history dating back to the early 14th century. In all aspects, many people from around the world, around the region, came through this trading port. And some settled down and became, I guess, the citizens of this country. Um, when the British came, many Chinese, Indians and Malays, they, they came along, Arabs and Bugis traders as well. The Malays were perhaps the indigenous population at that point in time, but many others came to make this country what it is today. So we, we all bring a bit of a background, mm -hmm. a bit of a history and heritage to this melting pot, as many people like to say. And the interesting aspect is, although we are founded in our individual cultures, we have a respect for each other and the various cultures influence each other basically because of the fact that we're all living together. Whether you're shopping on Orchard Road, the Fifth Avenue of Singapore, or you're downtown at lunchtime, you can't help but notice the multinational companies, especially American, which are here. We spoke with Michael Zink of Citi. Singapore is not an emerging market. 
Singapore is a financial services center as sophisticated, hand on heart I say to you, as sophisticated as New York or London. Mm. It has the regulatory framework, the collection of talent, the processing capabilities, the platforms, all the infrastructure, all the software mm -hmm. uh, to match toe to toe the best financial centers in the world. That may come as a surprise to people at home. One of the biggest projects in Singapore ever in size, scope, investment, and construction is the Marina Bay Sands Integrated Resort. It's a city within a city, and its dramatic presence leaves a visitor speechless. It's all here. Hotel, mall, casino, museum, restaurants, shops, and even a sky park. People were told, come for the weekend and never leave. Well, we started off as a trading country, so trade is uh, very much a part of, uh, very, is at, at the core of our economy. Education is a very multifaceted endeavour. Mm. Uh, what we hope to do is to develop every student to be a confident person, a self-directed learner, a concerned citizen and an active contributor. Well, in Singapore, there is a very high home ownership rate of something like 90%. 90% of the Singaporeans own their own homes. Food and eating are obsessions in Singapore. <laughs> Singapore's food scene is limitless, from the phenomenon of hawker centres to high-end dining. You'll meet Will and Lowe, a lawyer turned chef, but first I talked with food guru K.F. Sito about street food. In a country as small as Singapore, it's a great surprise to discover that both visitors and residents have an amazing number of options for fun, recreation, and relaxation. And of course, food. Why is Singapore a good place to play? There's so many ways to describe playing, right? Um, it, it is what you want to do mm -hmm. and not what you have to do mm -hmm. because you know, you get excited about sports, you get excited about eating, you know, because of the kinds of food that you get to taste. You get excited about music, entertainment. The, the, and these are all areas that have grown tremendously in Singapore. So when you talk about what to play, I kind of think of it as what people actually want to do because they like doing it.